All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's cover, cover, color the cover for the Stone Omnibus Edition. We have a video of Wills actually doing this piece, so that'll be included. But uh, so here it is, just <clears throat> the line art. And then we sent out light art for flats. So these are flats. So flats, what they are, they enable me to easily magic wand areas and just work on them. And usually you'll keep a version of flats around in case you want to go back and not have to select all the bits and, and pieces of something. Uh, and what I usually do then is monochrome those up enough so they're still enough variance in the color that I can easily magic wand and select them. Uh, but it also just means that all these color choices don't get into my way because they're really not my color choices. Plus it's more of a classical way to approach it, more of a painterly way. Uh, you know, lay a tone over the whole canvas and then go at it. So the next thing I think about is looking at the, uh, the, 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 the line art that Wilson put down here and I look at where he's already established light sources. So if you look like the, the nose shadow here, under here, there's a core shadow here. Core shadow meaning, like let's say this was a tube, and you're getting light from this side, and you're getting light from this side. The shadow is going to kind of sit in here where the light's not hitting as much, right? So that defines that shape. Um, so, but I can clearly see we've got some bounce light coming in here. So his major light source is going to be coming in this way and the bounce light is going to be coming in down here and I'll pick two different colors for that. My knee-jerk reaction is warm and cool but you'll see I'll probably change that along the way. I'm only going to record sound for a certain amount of this uh, and then we'll do a sped up version uh, of it. Uh, but uh, this kind of gets you in the head of, of what I'm thinking about for uh, Jerry here and we got all these fun beasties that will stay down here as well so uh but really the star of the show is is jerry um so uh let's get to it so get rid of that go into the flats i usually like you know the the eyes of the mirror soul the face is what humans we're programmed to go to first so it's the most important thing <clears throat> in a piece of art like if you see like uh some great painters like sergeant uh john singer sergeant uh you know he had the just all the effort was really in the face and then everything else was kind of a little bit more impressionistic at the end of the day which i'm so fond of and, and is great but uh it just shows the important part in dealing with this stuff so let's get to it i'm gonna magic wand do, 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 do. so you'll see uh, when I click this, I got this big area, and I just want this area. And that's because the tolerance is too high. So if I bring back the tolerance to five, and I also want it to be contiguous. Contiguous means color that's joined, okay? So if I click here and I get all this area, right, I'm not gonna get his hand because his hand is not connected. So, but I wanna get the hand and stuff too, so I'm holding the shift key. I'm just clicking in the areas that I want. Same thing here over on the hand. So there's a little bit of a different color probably up here on the hairline, but that's okay. I just clicked on it and I got it. And I think I added a couple more flats on the fingers. No, I think we're good. Okay, so uh, I tend to like to work dark to light, but people can work however they want. You know, you just gotta find what is good for you. Uh, and I'll switch over to a big soft airbrush. So I have an airbrush here that mimics uh, um, mimics a traditional airbrush. Uh, and I change the size. If you look at the profile of it, <clears throat> uh, you can see I have a nice pressure. Will do how much pigment <clears throat> I'm putting down at a time uh, and stuff. So uh, I got my Cintiq here that I'm working on. I've got some basic old color palettes so I'll be switching back over to here to, to add different tints so uh, I'm gonna just do a quick whop over this and again I'm kind of looking at it and 
you know, tilting my head and kind of going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, you know. Uh, you know, again, what I'm doing here is just blocking in basic color at this point. <clears throat> you don't want to like sit there and do a whole bunch of uh, stuff. I'm, again, I'm going towards the warm here, so I'm pulling in like warm light will be hitting and tinting him. I'll come back in certain areas and bring back other stuff, but you'll, you'll see that as it goes. Uh, so warm looks like it's probably going to be kind of what I want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again, if you could see me, I'm tilting my head left and right as I look at it. Uh, and then I probably would go something for a cool for the light that's coming in from this other side, right? And it will, that will affect the shadow condition too. So you notice I hit here with some of the color and uh, now I'm just going to go in and treat that like I just mixed that color. So that's one of the great things about digital. I can just go back and eye drop that because his nose is coming out. So his nose will catch a shadow here. And so will as the eyes recede back into the head. And remember the hair is a mass. So the hair is going <coughs> to cast a shadow as well. The head will cast a shadow, so I'm going to bring that cool into this area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring a little bit of that cool as well back in here. Again, I'm just kind of, you know, just, just big, broad shapes at this point. No, no real detail, no real, you know other things going on here because uh, I'm not even sure here I'm probably going to do some sort of a power effect on top of his hand um, and but but I can always put that over the top and have the effect affected there you go um, so I have a soft edge airbrush going here if I want to get some hard edges and get rid of my flats like I said if I need my flats again I can always come back to them there um, but I'm going to go ahead and start this is a technique that I've used or a ever <laughs> basically it's it, it's again it's a uh, it's a um, version of traditional airbrush where you have an airbrush and you use friskets right so instead of the friskets we'll use the selection tool as our friskets but this way I can get edges uh, on still keep this big soft brush as I'm working um, so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to hit some of these edges here behind him so I just want like a little bit of a rim light, right? So I'm going to go boom. I'm holding the shift key so I can do multiple selections at once. And back over here. And you're thinking about thinking about how the bounce light's hitting from just kind of behind him. I'm going to hide the selection so it's not in my way. I'm going to select that color. And then I'm going to go into my color settings here and go for a little bit brighter version. And I want to go a little bit cooler, I think, too. And so this will be just like hitting the, the light. But, and it also helps separate Jerry from the dark that we have here. Though, at the end of the day, I might go over that black and not make it black anymore. I mean, it'll still be a value, but, yeah, but we'll see. Um, probably should hit a little bit of that, too, bouncing up into his face. It would probably happen in the ear. So a little bit on the ear. A little bit coming over here, bouncing in the face. little bit of kind of the interior light coming in here. I think that will be different. A little different here. So you see I'll have a nice little edge light of the darker color that we had and then coming back in. Uh, okay, I'm going to start working on the uh, on his general flesh stuff. So this is kind of a mid-tone. I'm going to go to lighters. It's a little bit, almost got a little bit of shadow. Again, we don't want to, when you're coloring this stuff, you don't want to, you got all this beautiful line work, so you don't really want to go too dark with your colors. A lot of beginning colorists think they have to match up with the darks and kind of lose these nice, you know, hatching edges that you get and stuff. The line art's the star of comics. Uh, the color is the cinematographer. The color is, is the color is not the director. The color is the cinematographer, you know, uh, and it's your job to kind of accentuate, make better, 
what you have in front of you, not to dominate it and go over it, um, which happens sometimes. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing his face. So now there's a couple ways to do this. One, I could go in there, just freehand airbrush and start blocking in things. Uh, and I guess I'll probably will do that on second thought. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm just eye dropping the color. I use HSB sliders because that way I can just do hue changes here, saturation changes here, brightness here, and keep things very easily in the same color family. So here again, just dealing with the shapes of the face. I was getting some highlights. Boom! Chin comes out. Lower lip comes out. Have a little bit of light coming in over here. I'm not sure if that really is his pectoral. I'll have to mess with that, uh, but we'll see. Um, again, if I'm going to go in, I'll just start doing some striations from striations uh, from uh, his pecs here. And in my head, you know, it's I'm almost thinking still in a value way, not so much of a pure color way, because I might, because I probably will change and augment these colors in different ways. Um, but for right now, again, I'm just kind of hitting the form, keeping it fairly loose. Well, I was going to go in now. <clears throat> And you don't want to go with the other the other thing that the, a lot of young uh, colorists do is they'll be coloring like this close right and it's like you got to think of the piece as a whole okay uh that's that danger land being in there and 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 not kind of thinking about shapes and it as the whole you know i'm gonna color in a little bit here okay. um all right so i'm going to go now to the selection airbrush technique that we talked about that I talked about earlier. You guys didn't talk about it because I can't hear you. I don't know what you'd be saying. So I'm just hitting the the eye shape, a little bit of the you know bag under the eye there, and you'll see. So I'll hide those, and then I'll just take the airbrush. I'm going to go to a little bit brighter, and just start defining those shapes a little bit better. Now normally what I'll do is I'll do a whole bunch of these things at once. A lot of people don't think about the eyebrows kind of on top, kind of coming out and getting a little bit of light, but they do. One more time. Boom, boom. Then I'll hide it. And just go over it. You know, not hitting necessarily all the things like a big solid shape. If we're going for more of a, a real... Um, Sort of anime or graphic look then i'll you can just practically fill those shapes with color you'll see i'll hit over here so I'm, I'm hitting on that side of the thing i'm letting it fade out so i'm not hitting if i hit the whole shape that's what you get but i'm just using it kind of as a guide because i know i wanted that edge by the nose okay Uh, I also definitely want a rim light here. I'm kind of deciding on what the color of my special effect is, but I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead and put it in now anyway. Mm, I think it's going to be a yellowy. Maybe a little bit more. Again, I could change all this stuff later. I'm just kind of like, you know, finding the way at the moment and I'm kind of also thinking about kind of a little bit old color style rather than the kind of stuff I'm more involved with now. So I'm just hitting the, the muscles there. Okay, I'm going to pick here. Oops. I'm going to pick here, go brighter. So we get those nice top heads of the the deltoid going on there. More chest musculature going on here. 
And again, you notice I'm not hitting it too hard. Again, following the, the, the cues that Wills has already done muscle-wise. And again, some of this stuff, if it gets too hard, you just you know go over it again with the airbrush and soften it up a bit. Um, and you have to make noises like that when you're doing this too. I'm thinking I might change this because I think it's coming out a little weird, but we'll deal with that later. I'm getting dealing, dealing with that power effect light that I see coming in the future. Over here. Again, I'm just kind of looking side to side to side on this. I need to hit a little bit of his uh, other sh highlight shapes here for that bounce light that we talked about earlier. Grabbing this color, which I'm definitely going to make more saturated, but not right now. Boom, so we get some of the, the ribs and the traps over there getting light. Um, going to go ahead and mess with the light, the, the eyes real quick. See, I probably hit those eyes with a little bit of the overspray because I didn't have the, the mask up anymore, but that's not an issue. I'll just bring up the tolerance on the magic wand. Or I could go back to my clean flats, which I could do too, which I didn't do. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what's a good glowy eye color for this. Something like that. Now, you know, sometimes you might want to hit darker and if you hit darker then you can come in and do some uh, fun kind of highlights in here so I'm going to go now to a, a yellow and see how that gives the the eyes a little more life uh, also I don't like, you know, flat colors for, for teeth or eyes. Um, if you look at people's mouths, usually, you know, it's going back in your mouth, so it's going to get darker in there. So you got to add a little bit. I want to add this uh, sort of shadow condition. I decided to be this purpley color. So I'm going to kind of let that knock back and then go back and hit a little bit more uh, the front part of his teeth. He's starting to come together. Again, I do so much stuff over the top of these colors now than I used to do. So I'm kind of like, it's not going to look like this <laughs> when it's done, but you'll see how it, how it goes. Um, uh, I'm going to go one more level of brightness on the face. You know, making a little bit smaller, more contracted uh, selections than I had before. that you know I'm like ah, I don't like that shape that shape's not so cool I don't use the the uh, the blur tool I use as a smudge tool with a nice hard brush and with this smudge tool I can just go back and forth and soften that thing so I get the the tip that I want but then I get let it fade off by just going back and forth see I'll do the same thing over here I'll keep that one edge and then I'll just blend I'll use the smudge tool essentially as a blending tool and bring back that stuff.
We tend to get a lot of bounce light in that corner of the eye. You know, it's something that you always kind of forget about. So that's always worth hitting. Again, I'm kind of leaving this hand alone for the time being because I think I'm going to put a big effect there. Uh, so I really don't need as much. I should hit the side of his neck with a highlight as well. So we've got the jaw here and then I didn't notice because Wills went top and bottom on the lightness, but that's really his neck, side of his neck there. And I'll highlight that. And he's coming along. And a little bit of non-realistic weirdness in here. Like it's kind of pretty, you know. Again, what I like about this style is I like the, the shapes you get. You know, it gets it, it, it really kind of gets interesting. Bicep and vein. sort of color. Again, I have them selected. I just am going to block in some of the color, so this is going to get hit a little bit with that that cool kind of purpley on that side. Same thing here. Uh, and then this is going to get hit by the warmer color on this side. And again, I think this stuff up here is going to get hit with a power effect, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of rendering. Again, it's, it's, it's really just, you know, I'm just going in, doing where the highlight shapes, I'm holding the shift key, so I'm hitting all these shapes at once. And it's going to have one big airbrush that's going to go right over the top. Part of this is just, you know, when you've been doing this stuff forever, you can, you know, kind of get it all going. So I'm going to go boom, and I'm going to get a little bit more saturation in here. And the highlight here. Let's go over. So we get some highlights going there. Over here. The ropes a little bit. Again, I'm just following Wilson's lead. Go grab that color, go a little brighter with it, and hit in that area. Okay, I'm probably not going to do too much on that belt. Let's go ahead and hit the legs, and I will. Probably continue the rest of this stuff after I finish the legs with um, just sped up. You don't want to hear me talking forever. That would just be silly. darker. Again, I've got this color coming in from this side. I got this color coming in about from this side. And then the inside. This is going to get hit with that same purpley over here. It's coming in from that side. And this would be hit a little bit from the warm over on this side. Now 
and just again picking out shapes from what Wills has done. Picking that, go a little brighter, go a little bit more saturated. And bring back in some of those sh shapes of his quads and thigh muscles and stuff. kind of done you can kind of see the process how it goes and I'm gonna save this now so I don't mess up my recording and uh, I will be recording the rest but it will be played back spent. all right thanks for watching